He didn't think that there was any other thing besides live television. But when I first came to work on the Today Show, and Dave Garraway was the one who hired me, we did three hours of the Today Show because we did a third hour because of the time difference in the Middle West. There was no tape where you could repeat that hour. So we'd have to say to guests, would you mind staying around another two hours? Or we'd fill it with something else. And three hours a day was what we did because it was live. Everything was live. But, you know, in some ways it hasn't changed. The Today Show and Good Morning America and the other morning shows are still live. The View, which I do, is live. And there is an excitement about doing something live, uh, if it's done right, that, that, um, that has a certain magic that you don't necessarily get on, uh, on tape or film. And then there were what, what I remember as being wonderful, dramatic shows, um, Playhouse 90 and... Oh, if you read, I can't think of some of the other names, but we watch television a lot, and these were all live shows. Mm -hmm. Well, as a writer, was it different writing for, for live television? I don't think there was any difference then, lighting, uh, writing, uh, because the writers did the same thing then that they do today on these morning shows. They pre-interview the guests, and they help to write the questions for the people who are on the air. So I didn't feel that. Um, I remember writing the introduction when Hugh Downs became the host of the Today Show. Little, little did I know that a few years later I would be uh, hosting, but not hosting. Again, there were no co-hosts in the beginning. It wasn't until two years, and, and that's another story, until two years before I left the Today Show that I became a co-host. Well, and I, since then, sorry. everybody in the morning show, uh, on all of the morning shows, every woman is now a co-host.